Have you ever wanted to use a green screen for your live streams, but you have a nice background and you don't really want to get rid of it? Maybe you just want to use your green screen for one specific scene for a very specific scenario. Well, what if I told you that NVIDIA two weeks ago released a piece of software that allows you to change your webcam or camera into a green screen with the click of a button? Well, it turns out they did. And it works pretty well. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up, how to use it, and just give you my general review of it. Because why not? I don't actually have an intro yet or like some fancy animations, so I'm just going to get into it. What is that piece of software you're asking me? Well, it's called NVIDIA Broadcast. And in NVIDIA's own words, they say it upgrades any room into a home broadcast studio by transforming standard webcams and microphones into smart devices through the power of AI. Sounds great. Let's see if it actually works. There is, however, one prerequisite that you have to be made aware of. You have to have an NVIDIA graphics card, which is an RTX graphics card. So anything better than an RTX 2060 will work. So 2060, 2070, 2080, 2080 Ti, 3080, any of the 30 series cards that are just coming out, those will work. Anything that came before those will not work. You're going to have to upgrade. Or if you have an AMD GPU, yeah, you ain't going to be using this. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about how to download it, how to install it, and how to use it in OBS. Okay, so this is how you download it. It's real simple. All you type in is NVIDIA Broadcast. Click enter. First one that comes up says download. Click on that. Wait for it to load. There it is. Download now. And then follow the instructions on the install. It's as easy as that. All right. So you've installed it. It's all good. Working well. I'm going to show you how to use it and how to get it to work in OBS. It's really, really simple. Right now, you, we're on my desktop. You can see that my capture card is running. Uh, it's an HD60 Pro with my camera. And I'm just using this as a reference and also just as the webcam so you can see my face while I'm doing this. So you're going to type in NVIDIA Broadcast or click this. I already have it open and you'll be greeted with this little screen here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the camera option. There is speakers and microphone. I'm not going to go into those today, but if you'd like me to, let me know in the comments and I will do in-depth videos on those because the AI in those specific areas are really, really cool as well. But the green screen effect, which is what we're after, is in the camera, obviously. So camera source. Very simple, you pick your camera source or your webcam. So in my case, there is only one, which is the game HD60 Pro capture card. Whether yours is the Logitech, just find whatever your camera source normally is, click that. It'll load. At the moment, it's, it's a carbon copy of what my capture card is showing, obviously. Next thing is the resolution that it will transmit to your OBS. So for me, I want that to be 1920 by 1080 60 FPS. Simple, right, great, that's working. Now we go on to the effect. So this is where you'll find the background removal, which is the green screen effect. As you can see, there are four effects. We're going to focus on this one for now. I'm going to go into the other ones later on in the video. So you can skip ahead to that if you're interested in those. But simply, you're going to click that. And as you can see, it's changed. It's gotten rid of the background. And there you go. Very simple. I'm going to turn this off for now because I want to show you guys something while we set it up in OBS. So you have an empty scene in OBS right now. Go to video capture device, add, we'll call it NVIDIA. Okay. As you can see, it says Game Capture HD 60 Pro, which is the ROM one. That is the capture card not going through the NVIDIA software. So the one you actually want to use is Camera NVIDIA Broadcast. Click that, click OK. As you can see, nothing's happened because at the moment, I don't have it on in NVIDIA Broadcast. You have to make sure that in NVIDIA Broadcast software, you have clicked it on and then it will go on the OBS. Simple as that. And you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to do any fancy effects in OBS to get it to work. It's already green screened it for you. So if I click on this media source here, open it up, as you can see, I'm already green screened. I didn't have to do any setting changes in OBS to get this to work. Just make sure that the NVIDIA is on the top so that you can see it. And that is as simple as that. Let's talk about the main one, which is the green screen. As you can see, I have the green screen on right now in OBS. If I click play, you can see it's playing the video in the background, which would be a live stream. Normally it would be the real gameplay and it works pretty good for the most part. You can see that it struggles with my hair. I have the worst hair for this kind of thing. 
curly hair um it's not it doesn't work super well but overall it's pretty damn good and what i would say is in this scenario i have myself full screen um if, when you're live streaming and you're playing and you're streaming gameplay you're never going to have yourself full screen so if i put myself down to the size that i might be for a stream and put myself in the corner that suddenly looks a lot better viewers aren't going to really give that much of a they're not going to care that much about it i don't think if it's that small fair enough if it was large like this if it was like full screen then you might have a problem uh with your viewers thinking oh that doesn't look very good it doesn't look very professional however there is also one other thing you can do if you have hair like mine which would be to put on a hat pretty simple and now it looks a lot better already um if we then do that along with making myself smaller that looks way better I mean, so there are workarounds. Obviously, if you don't like wearing a hat, that's a problem, but whatever. Um, what can you do? It's it's pretty good. I, I really do think it's something that I would use. The only problem I have is if, and other people might have this problem, if you have a dual PC setup, you're gonna have to have an RTX card in your streaming setup to do the webcam uh, and to make this effect, which I don't have at the moment. So that's kind of annoying. I can't even use this for my streams yet. However, I think in the future, when I upgrade my computer to like maybe a 30 series card, then I'll be able to do it. And this is definitely something I am going to use. One thing that I'm really curious about, which I haven't tried yet, is the, sc the scenario that I want to use this in is for like VR. So I would like to know how well this works with a VR headset, because obviously it it's focusing on my face. So I wonder if because it focuses on face, if I put something on, will it just not recognize that my face is there and then it will look like I'm headless? All right, hello, Future Ryan here. I forgot to mention something when I was doing this review, which was kind of the main thing about this piece of software that made it so appealing to me and one of the benefits of using this over a real green screen is the fact that it takes the or the video from your capture card and changes it to its own thing its own nvidia source which means in obs i can set up a scene which has using the capture card so here using the capture card and then i can have switch to a different scene and it's green screened i'm not sacrificing the regular background for the green screen and i'm not having to sp spend time setting up a green screen i can just use this really quickly easily and swap between the two i mean it's just perfect and that's why i like it so much and that was kind of the main reason i wanted to make this video so it's kind of stupid that i forgot that but whatever so i said i would talk about the different effects there are four of them so i am in obs right now as you can see let us just bring up the nvidia broadcast app which is here. I'm going to put this in the corner so you can mainly see the OBS and you can see the effect in a larger screen. So let's go on to the first effect, which is background blur. Fairly self-explanatory. If I turn this on, it blurs the background and you get a strength slider. So obviously the left being the weaker, weaker blur. Go to the top, more blur. Simple. All right, moving on. Background replacement. So what background replacement does is if I pull this out, you can see it's replaced the background already in the broadcast app and it sent that out to OBS. So it's basically exactly the same as background removal, but it does this part that I've done in OBS in broadcast itself. I don't think this is useful for streamers too much. I think a streamer can obviously do that themselves in OBS like I already did. This is probably more useful for people using Skype using whatever else they're using. Um, this app can be used in Skype, Zoom, whatever you name it, whatever uses a webcam, you can make your webcam and video broadcast and you can use that, which is a very cool feature, I must admit. But for streamers, not too useful. And last but not least, we already know about background removal. I'm gonna talk about that more in a bit. Let's talk about auto frame. And as you can see, it's zoomed in on my face. Um, if we zoom it out, it zooms all the way out. Zoom it in, zoom it in. And so what this does is if I move about, as you can see, it's kind of doing it, it tracks my face and it keeps my face in frame. I think this is really, really cool. 
I really love this feature um, because in certain scenarios on my stream, if something funny happens, I have a scene where it zooms in. So it just crops the camera. It makes it like it is right now on, on screen, but it's in a fixed position. So if I move about something funny happened and then I click on that, I might not be in frame, but with this, I'm always in frame and I can move about and it makes it a bit more engaging. Like I can go close to the microphone, say stuff to you. I can like come up close. It's, it's quite good. I really like it. And I think it's probably the most useful one apart from the uh, green screen effect. And yeah, that's all the effects. So there you go. So what are some ways in which I think this could be improved? I think it's obviously really, really good as is. Um, one thing that I would say that they could do is, for example, you have to go through the NVIDIA app at the moment to change effects. I would love to see, for example, say I have myself as a gameplay thing using the green screen effect, but something funny happens in game. And like I said, I want to go to a zoomed in view of my face so I can, you know, make fun of it or whatever's going on. If you could integrate this into maybe Stream Deck or into OBS itself so that when you change scenes, as there's a transition going on, it changes from background replacement or ground ramping to zoom. That would be really good. And then when you transition back, while it's transitioning, it goes back to background removal. That would be really, really cool. And I don't know, maybe that is possible. Someone can tell me. I haven't actually researched it. I'm just assuming that they haven't done that. Apart from that, this is really good. I have no complaints. Um, I think as more people, more and more people use this, I'm assuming it will get better. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. If you're a streamer and you're thinking about using a green screen, should you use this as a replacement? No, is the answer. You will not get as good as an effect. You've seen it. A green screen will always look better than this. And you can go onto Amazon and buy like a green sheet, for like nothing, or just go to a shop and buy a bright green sheet and use that and pin it up and use it. And it will work infinitely better than, than what I've just shown you with the AI and NVIDIA broadcast. However, if you're like me, and you have a nice background and maybe every once in a while you're going to want to use like a green screen effect for when you do vr gameplay or something like that and it's a very odd use this is perfect it saves you having to set stuff up it saves you having to maybe even have a dual camera setup so you have one for the webcam and then when you want to use the green screen you run over and use a green screen over on the other side of the room which you have set up it saves you doing that i mean you've seen the effects yourself it has other effects the zoom effect is really cool I have no complaints and I will definitely be using this when I upgrade my streaming my streaming PC rig. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been a bit informative. Uh, if you'd like to catch me on stream and talk about this more, please do. I stream every Monday and Thursday at twitch.tv slash click here to game. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, let me know as well, because this is the first sort of informative video that I've done for streamers. So. If you'd like to see more, please let me know. And yeah, have a good weekend, guys.